Welcome to ECLEMO Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lessons, we have discussed three rules that can be used to determine the direction of the magnetic field along a conductor carrying current. One of it was the Oersted experiment. Then we also discussed Ampere swimming rule. Then latest we discussed the uh, Fleming's right hand grip rule for a straight conductor carrying current. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss another rule that can be used to, de to determine the direction of the magnetic field along a conductor or around a conductor carrying current. And it is going to give us absolutely the same result like the three other rules that we have discussed. This one is Maxwell's corkscrew rule. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define and explain how to use Maxwell's corkscrew rule. Then later, we are going to handle a few examples involving determining the direction of the magnetic field around a conductor by using Maxwell's corkscrew rule. So apart from framing his right hand grip rule, the Ampere swimming rule and the Ofsted experiment, we can also use Maxwell's corkscrew rule to determine the direction of the magnetic field around a conductor carrying current. And this rule states that if a right-handed screw is driven forward in the direction of conventional current, then the direction of the rotation of the screw is the direction of the field lines. In this case, for you to rotate or to drive a screw uh, forward, then you have to rotate it in a clockwise direction, that is tightening a screw. Then if you have to loosen it, you are loosening it or you rotate it in a clockwise direction. So here we are going to tighten it. Tightening, we always tighten screws in a clockwise direction like this. Then now if you tighten it and it's moving towards the direction of current, it will be moving down. Like in this case, current is also moving down. Then now the rotation or the direction of the rotation of this screw will determine the direction of the magnetic field around this conductor. Like in this case, if we tighten inside that it's moving down, then this rotation will be in this direction like that. Therefore, in front here, the field lines are moving to the left side and therefore below or behind this screw, it's moving uh, to the right side. And then we can confirm this by using the right hand grip rule. If you grasp this, a conductor which is carrying current, assume this screw is a conductor in such a way that the thumb points in the direction of current. So in this case, we are going to grasp it, say that your thumb points downwards. Then what you are going to realize in front of this screw, the, the field lines are moving, all the fingers are moving to the left, the way they are moving here. Then behind, they are moving to the right, the way they are moving on this screen. So we can use either the three rules, you can also use the swimming rule. If you are swimming, from up down, then your left hand will be pointing towards this uh, left right hand side of the screen. That is the direction of your left of your left hand. Then in this case, if you have a compass needle behind here, then it will be moving towards the direction of your left hand like that, the way it's appearing here. Therefore, automatically in front here it will be moving to the left side. So now we can handle a few questions. And the first question here, we want to determine the direction of the magnetic field along this conductor. And in this case, on the first uh, question here, current is moving upward. So when current is moving upward, if we apply our screw rule, imagine this conductor is a screw and you want to, uh, you want to tighten it so that it moves in the direction of current that is upwards. So if you have to rotate it, Therefore, in front here, you have to rotate it in a clockwise direction so that now it moves up because tightening a screw, you have to rotate it in a clockwise direction. So if you have to rotate it in a clockwise direction, it means in front here, it has to move in that direction, that's clockwise direction. If it moves in the, that clockwise direction, it will be uh, moving up. And in that case, it means the direction of rotation of this screw, it will show the direction of the magnetic field. So here, this screw will be rotating in this direction like that. So if it rotates in that direction like that, then automatically that is the direction of the magnetic field. 
and we can confirm this by using the right hand grip rule if you grasp this one side that your fingers or your thumb points in the direction of current then you are going to realize in front of this uh, wire the fingers are pointing uh, towards the right side of the screen and then behind the wire they are pointing in the left hand side of the screen then also swimming rule if you swim up the the left hand will be pointing in this uh, left side of the screen like this and therefore below this wire or behind this wire the magnetic field will be pointing in this direction so either way you are using or you can get the same same result so in the second diagram we want to change the direction of current so that now current moves down in this case if current moves down then you have your screw from up here you want to tighten it tightening it we said you rotate it in a, or you move you tighten it in a clockwise direction therefore it means in the front here it will be moving like that and then at the back it will be moving like that so in this case this is a clockwise direction if you tighten this in a clockwise direction it will be moving down the same way current is moving therefore the direction of this of the rotation of this screw will be like this the direction of this screw will be like this the way i've drawn here in front it will be moving from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen and then at the back it will be moving from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen and in this case we can even use the fleming is right hand rule if you grasp this conductor such like that the thumb points in the direction of current then the fingers behind the wire will be pointing to the left or to the right side of the screen and then in front they will be pointing to the right side of the screen even the ampere swimming roll will give us the same result so we can handle question three or example three and four and in this case we are going to set the the, the, the direction of current for example three to be moving from right side of the screen to the left side of the screen this current moving that arrow represent the direction of current so in this case if we assume this conductor is a screw and we rotate it say that we are tightening it then it means we have to rotate it in a clockwise direction so the direction at which this um, this screw will be rotating if we draw the field lines here then it means in front here this this screw will be rotating like this this screw will be rotating like that in a clockwise direction then when it reaches behind it will be moving down like that so it will be moving in front it will be moving up then behind is moving down that's the direction of rotation of that screw you can confirm this by using framing his right hand rule and in this case if you grasp say that the thumb points in the direction of current then you are going to realize the fingers in front are pointing up and then behind they are pointing down then for example four we can set the direction of current to move to the left to the right side of the screen like this one here and in this case if we tighten this screw like that the, it moves towards the direction of current then it means now we have to make it rotate in a clockwise direction and in this case if we draw the field lines if we draw the field lines like this one here and then we want to determine the direction of current using the maxwell cox screw rule then it means uh, in front here the field lines are moving down like that then behind they are moving up like that so that if you rotate it in a clockwise direction in front the screw will be moving down and then behind the screw will be moving up you can confirm this using the right hand rule for framing is right hand rule or even the ampere swimming rule for example in ampere swimming rule if you are swimming from this left hand side to the right hand side here then it means your left hand will be pointing up if the left hand is pointing up then if you have a compass needle below this wire this is where we have below the wire if you have it below the wire the, the compass needle will be pointing up like that and as you can see it is complying with our fleming is right hand rule the ampere swimming rule and the maxwell's cox screw rule 
So we can handle the fifth and the sixth example. This is the fifth and this is the sixth example. In this case, current is moving inside the paper. Here we say current is moving inside. So in this case, current is moving from where you are to the screen. Can you assume you have a screw and you want to tighten it to move inside the screen? How can you do it? If you rotate it in a clockwise direction, it means you will rotate it like this. And if I draw the fill lines here, and for you to tighten this screw, then it means you have to rotate so that it, it moves in a clockwise direction. So it has to, uh, to rotate like this one here, rotation of the screw for it to be tightened. Then it means the fill lines up here will be moving like that. On this side, they will be moving like that. So in this case, you can even confirm using the framing is right hand rule. You position your thumb so that it points that point where it is moving to the screen. In, uh, on top of the this wire, the, thing, the fill lines are moving to the right, and below the wire, the fill lines are moving to the left. Then the last one here in this case is when we have current moving out. In this case, assume you have a, a screw which is behind the screen. Then now you want to tighten it so that it gets out of the screen into your eyes. So in this case, if we draw the, the, the magnetic field along this wire which is moving out of the screen, what we are going to realize is that on top of this wire, the field lines are going to move in this direction like that. And below this wire, they are going to move like that. And this is the direction of rotation. If you have to tighten it from behind the screen towards your eyes, then this will be the direction of rotation. This is the rotation of the screw. Then in this case, you can even confirm using your right hand rule. You place a pen side that the, the sharp point points towards you. Then you grasp with your right hand side that the thumb points towards the sharp point of your pen. Then what you realize in front or on the upper part of this pen, current or the field lines are moving to the left side and then below moving to the right side of the screen. That marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss the Fleming's right hand grip rule for a solenoid carrying current.